Tommy Fury is my hero. He is my mood for the rest of 2019. Mora needs to be a flamingo because she's got like a quarter of a leg to stand on here. Hey, I'm Josh Denzel here with Cosmopolitan to give my view on this week's Love Island. I must get on there. This is Mora sticking it on Tommy Fury. It's like factor 50, pure head loss from Tommy. Like this conversation has got him beading up. Oh, this is my favourite part when Molly May looks through the, <laughs> through the bushes. Why did he choose to go on the sofa instead of staying in the bed with Molly May? Tommy Fury is my hero. He is my mood for the rest of 2019. So she, Joe's angry, right, that, that Lucy has spoken to Tommy for an hour in a villa where there's nothing to do but talk to people. Yeah, I don't think Joe has any right to tell her who, who she can or can't hang around with or be friends with. Between Jordan and Tom, they've, they've got some solid date chat. Maura is on job. I don't know if she has like the highest sex drive in the world, but she just wants to share a bed with anyone. Like, get her a cuddly toy or something to hug. Wow. Curtis is... I don't know how he's managed to make it, like, like between the jazz hands and the smile on his face. These used to be my favourite conversations. Like, you used to just grill people about what they've been up to the night before. But, like, if they're going to say it, like, you got to say you did bits. Do you know what I mean? This is the DBS, like, this is, like, the sugar-free, low-fat version. All the girls are like, oh, you know, I wouldn't do anything on TV. I'm only going to kiss him. And then wait till two weeks in and you'll see. There's a load of tents. It looks like Glastonbury in that bedroom. It's wild. Oh, you know it's serious when a boy gets shifted for a conversation on that day bed. Like, Mora needs to be a flamingo because she's got like a quarter of a leg to stand on here because she's done exactly the same thing to Molly May. <laughs> you know when you're wrong and you just stop them talking. You're like, wait, 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 wait. And then she's thinking of her argument. Wow. You shouldn't be sat there with the girl that you fancy in pure silence. Listen, he needs to bloody put on his high vis and his workman's hat because he's got a lot of grafting to do, mate. Danny and you and they don't have legs, unfortunately. Oh, beef, 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 beef. Dumb things were like, oh my gosh, it's so much worse in real life, I can't even explain to you. When you're sat there or stood there thinking you're going to go home, the music makes it bad, but imagine pure silence and the wait is about a minute and a half. Like, genuinely, so you just stood there thinking, oh my God, like, it's going to be the last thing I see. I understand that in, in the villa, like, things are intensified. It's like, everything's like a bit green, everything's a bit blue, like, like, you fancy people like a little bit more. But listen, give her like three days and the new boy will come in and she'll be head over heels with him and everything will be forgotten. It is what it is, yeah, I need to absolutely stop saying that. Love Island has ruined so many phrases for me. Uh, right, let's stop talking, I'm to get myself in trouble. Don't forget to subscribe to Cosmo's YouTube channel for more videos like this.